The internet is already full of random total drama fun facts, so for this video, I decided to go deep into the rabbit hole and choose the most obscure fun facts I could have found. Number 1. In both her TDI 2007 and World Tour bios, Heather said that her main long-term goals are ruling Europe and putting her face on every coin, bill, and credit card. Number 2. When he was asked about a person he would want to meet, Sam made a reference to Satoru Iwata, the president of Nintendo. Number 3. According to Fresh TV's now defunct website, Chris was offered to host a Japanese version of the series, but the idea was scrapped because there weren't enough contestants. Number 4. Total Drama is the third ranking series associated with the keyword cartoon nudity. Number 5. DJ made a reference to the singer Lady Gaga in one of his biographies. When he was asked what his dream date would look like, he said that he would be with someone called Lady Blah Blah in a horse and carriage at the Central Park Zoo in New York. Number 6. The person who wrote I Wanna Be Famous must be as talented as the person who sang it. Yes, how many of you guys know that in the Polish version of the show, the song is actually sung by Trent's voice actor? Number 7. I'm not sure if Justin really had good intentions when he said this, but when he was asked about the reason why he joined Total Drama, Justin said that he could donate his winnings to the Unattractive Looking People Wish Foundation. Number 8. Talking about this, both Gwen and DJ actually joined the show for their mothers. DJ wanted to get her back to Jamaica, and Gwen said that the prize would have made her mom's life easier. Number 9. Math can really be a nightmare, especially in places like high school where you just want to relax. But apparently for Izzy, math is a sweet dream. When she was asked what's her craziest dream, she mentioned that she only dreams in mathematical equations and that the night before the interview, she mathematically proved that she doesn't exist. Number 10. Zoe's favorite band, The Birdles, is a combination between two bands of the 60s, The Iconic Beatles and The Turtles. Number 11. All of Duncan's clothes are actually stolen. This information was revealed on Total Drama Online along with the fact that Duncan always keeps a lighter in each pocket in case he feels the urge to burn something. There is a chance that Duncan has pyromania, a disorder in which you literally want to set things on fire. Number 12. Harold's favorite movie called Master of the Spheres is a parody reference to Lord of the Rings. This is also connected with Harold's original design from Camp TV. Here we can see the words Middle Earth on his t-shirt which is another direct reference to the Lord of the Rings series. Number 13. Lightning actually had a friend called Thunderbolt, yet they stopped being friends due to the fact that people were always yelling Mamma Mia around them. For those who know what the deal with this is, their names plus the words Mamma Mia is a reference to the song Bohemian Rhapsody made by Queen. Number 14. Ironically related to the previous fun fact, Priya's biggest fears are thunder and lightning. Number 15. Being the son of a diplomat can really transform you into one of the best negotiators. Alejandro is basically the perfect example since during his childhood, he actually smooth talked his school bus driver into handing over the keys. Number 16. Jasmine shares the same name as one of Lashana's friends who can be seen in her video message clip from home. Her design is also very similar to Courtney but I doubt that they are related. Number 17. Lindsay's favorite food is pink cotton candy. Number 18. It's pretty usual for kids to get some cute little jobs like delivering newspapers or selling some lemonade to the neighbors. For example, Katie and Sadie used to sell ice cream every summer. They even had a special flavor called Spamindi Lopper, which is a reference to the singer Cindy Lopper. Number 19. According to Mark Thornton, one of Total Drama's directors, Bet's design was inspired by America Ferreira from the movies Ugly Betty and Never Been Kissed. Number 20. When Owen was asked about his most embarrassing moment in school, he literally pictured a scene worthy of a horror movie. Apparently, one time after he had beans for lunch before his chemistry class, he farted and made the flame behind him more powerful which basically blue flamed one of his colleagues' eyebrows right off his face. Number 21. 
Noah can be a little tough with his sarcastic lines. Apparently, in school, he made a bully cry just by making fun of his shoes. Number 22. Even before the contest, Lashana was known for volunteering three times a week at the community center. Apparently, all the troubled teens from there admire her and see her as a big sister. Number 23. Bridget's dream date from her online bio, Dustin Timberlake, is a reference to the singer and actor Justin Timberlake. Also, her favorite musician, Rick Rail, is a reference to the surf rock guitarist, Dick Dale. Number 24. According to Total Drama Online, Chef's birthday is on May 21st. Number 25. The only vote Wayne ever received during the reboot was actually from his best friend Raj, but most of us already know that it was a misunderstanding since they thought the vote was a good thing. Who'd you vote for? You brah, how about you? You dog, hope we win. Number 26. When he was asked about his favorite type of music, Cody's answer was the Samsung cell pod ringtone, which is a reference to Samsung's ringtone. Number 27. Back in 2007, Emily Claire Barlow, Courtney's voice actress, actually said that out of all her roles by that point, Courtney was her favorite. Number 28. One of Tyler's best childhood memories is the time when he headbutted a goal in his first soccer game. But there was only a little problem, because he actually scored in his own team's net. Number 29. During her audition tape, Ella shouts, Sorry, Mr. McGillis! Which is a reference to Tom McGillis, one of the show's creators. Number 30. Sean was basically Total Drama's biggest expert when it came to surviving a zombie apocalypse. Yet it's not that well known that throughout the season, Sean follows the rules on how to survive a zombie apocalypse from Max Brooks's The Zombie Survival Guide. Number 31. Scott's favorite artist is called Kanye East, which is a direct parody of the well-known Kanye West. Number 32. Cameron is not allowed to listen to music, which is strange since he stated that his mother is a big disco fan. Number 33. When she was asked how she sees herself 10 years after Revenge of the Island, Dawn said that she wanted to become a historian. Number 34. Joe's favorite color is gray. Number 35. Ava has practiced kickboxing since she was 3 years old and holds the world record for the highest jumping roundhouse kick made by a 5 year old. Also, before joining Total Drama, she did some stunts for a few action movies. Number 36. Topher was based on Ryan Seacrest, the host of American Idol. Number 37. Jeff was supposed to fall in love with Gwen and not Bridget in the original Camp TV. Number 38. One of Trent's goals is to have his own bike shop where he can build world-renowned choppers. But apparently, his dad keeps telling him to become an accountant just like him. Number 39. Brick's favorite movie, Pash, is based on the 1970 film MASH, which is actually an anti-war film, making it a strange choice for an army lover like him. Number 40. Izzy was really crafty when it came to blowing things up. Yet most of us didn't know that these skills go way back to her early childhood since when she was asked about her best childhood memory, she mentioned blowing up her preschool with homemade fireworks. Number 41. Heather's favorite movie series is called The Scroll Saw, which is a reference to the movie series The Saw. Number 42. Don and Alejandro are the only characters who mention that they can control their dreams. Number 43. During one of her math classes, Lashana saw a spider and screamed so loud that all the windows shattered. Number 44. Terry McGurn considers Sugar one of the funniest characters of the series, even though she is usually called cartoony and ridiculous. Number 45. Although she was rich, Dakota actually had another job before working as an intern in Total Drama. According to her bio, her first job was a waitress at a chicken place. Number 46. Izzy's favorite music type is horror movie soundtracks. Number 47. Axel's voice actress for the Latin American Spanish version of the show, Lydia Aboud, also voiced Bridget in the first three seasons. Number 48. Julia's parents, Greg and Judy, are the only parents whose names are mentioned in the reboot. Number 49. The song Lonely and Alone, which Wayne listened to after Ranj's elimination, was actually sung by Terry McGurran. 
I was not prepared for losing you. Apparently, in his original version, the first part was in French. My version started in French though, because I feel that's the saddest language in the world. Number 50. In the episode Choosin for a Bruisin, Bowie moonwalks and grabs his crotch, both of which are Michael Jackson's iconic dance moves. Number 51. Most of Leonard's spell incantations are referenced to the spells used in Harry Potter. Number 52. Ezekiel always tended to say some out of place things during the competition, but probably one of the weirdest things he ever said in his biography is that he believes subway trains are not real. Number 53. Sky's athletic skills were inspired by two famous American gymnasts, Gabby Douglas and Mary Lou Retton. Number 54. Scary Girl's character is one of the main reasons I wanted to start this channel. Number 55. One of Anne Maria's favorite movies, Gigantic, is a reference to the romantic movie Titanic. Number 56. Gwen's first job was washing some old lady's hair. Number 57. Sierra made a fan page dedicated to Cody's big toe. Apparently, that was just one of 30 Cody fan pages that she made. According to her bio, each one of these was based on particular parts of Cody's awesomeness. Number 58. In the original version of the show, the contestants weren't supposed to know that they would be filmed and shown on TV. Number 59. Over the years, Total Drama has made over 100 movie references. Number 60. Even if they were basically arch enemies, Gwen and Heather were always on the same team. So there it is guys. What was your favorite fun fact? Make sure to tell me in the comments. Take care and see you next time with a brand new video.